going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. So, as I was browsing through the Twitter feeds, I was going to do a Twitter feed video today, I ended up coming across something that talked about Penny Redemption's policy, and it, it acted as if there was a change to it. Um, I started looking into it, and I found where the terms and conditions are posted on a Panini website. And I looked, it says, as of 12 March 2019. So if it's been updated, they should have probably changed the date to top, but I'm not too sure because sometimes people just overlook things too. So I wanted to go over this just so everybody uh, is aware of the Panini Redemption request policy that's out there. And some of the words and the terminology that they use. So you're going to see the word ITC in here. ITC is the identified trading card. Basically, you know, it's what your redemption card is supposed to be redeemed for. It's the identified trading card. So, basically you get your redemption. I'm due a... Oh gosh, who was redemptions last year? Jamar Chase. I know people are waiting on Jamar Chase's. So basically, even though you have the redemption card of it, they're calling it an identified trading card. You also have an STC, not to be confused with the STD, but the STC, it's a substitute trading card. All right, so I just put this up on the screen just so everybody's aware of this. Um, I haven't redeemed something with Panini in a long time. I actually looked, and I was like, holy cow, when I logged in, I had to go in there and accept all these new terms and policies and all kind of craziness. So if you haven't been in there for a while, you might have to read through, skim through stuff. A lot of it's about, you know, using your information, selling it off, all that craziness. All right, back to this. Here it says, if the ITC is not available at the time of the redemption quest for any reason, Panini will so notify you and you will have the choice to either wait up to six months... That's basically for the card to become available or request Panini provide a substitute trading card. What's funny is I was looking in here and I didn't see anything about them giving you uh, Panini points. I guess that's just something they've been throwing out to people off the bat. Uh, let's see here. Where was I at? If you elect to wait for the ITC to become available, Panini will attempt to provide it within six months of the receipt of a timely redemption request. Issue is which we all know, there's redemptions that are out there that are eight years old and stuff like that that we're still waiting on. Um, I'm probably guessing they're not going to sign. You guys know my st funny story with the upper deck. Uh, I pulled a LeBron auto. This is back in like 2015. I waited till 2019 to actually talk to them. They, they hooked me up. No, I'm not going to lie. They hooked me up for waiting so long. And no joke, about three, four months later, I found one on eBay. But they were out of five. They were the Upper Deck uh, Letterman autographs. But get back to this here. You know, six months. I think, you know, we're probably going to be waiting longer. But it says, Penny makes no guarantees or warranty regarding whether the ITC will become available during a six-month waiting period. Should you elect to wait, regardless of your election, Penny reserves the right to send an STC, which is... Your, what did I call that, substitute trading card after the six-month waiting period. Kind of crazy because if you go out there and say you're a Luca collector and Luca's the redemption after six months, they reserve the right to send you, you know, a card afterwards. It may not be Luca. You might end up getting, I don't know, Zion. You know, it could be anything out there. I, I like it to where... After that six-month period, they email you, you go on there, you fill out, you know, well, who you like and stuff like that there to kind of make sure you get something you like back. Because not all of us pull them. People actually buy these because they're collectors. <laughs> all right, so as you can see here, the third paragraph down, an STC will be of an equal or greater monetary value as compared to the market value of the ITC. So... Basically, they're going to look at what the redemption card is going for, and they're going to say, hey, that's what we have to come around and, you know, either equal or more value. The one thing I kind of, you know, disagree with is that when you look that price up, when you get the card live, it always sells for more. So it kind of gets me in both ends onto it because they're using the ITC word into here where... 
it should be more that we're going to substitute it with what the redemption is currently going for based off of current value. Because when you use the identified trading card onto it, it kind of confuses a lot of people. And they're thinking the actual physical card. So, where was we at here? Uh, Panini may supply two or more, basically, substitute trading cards that are in total, that in total are of equal or greater monetary value. So you may get a lot of cards back from them. I'm granted I'm taking it. They're going to try to be fair with this. If you got like a, say you pulled like a one on one super fractor, somebody huge out there, you know they probably don't have something laying there that they can hook you up with. But at that time frame, it'd be cool if you could just be like, hey, give me a case of flawless from this year if you have it or whatever it may be, so they could kind of work with you onto it. Especially the bigger ones, they should be working with you. Hey, we have these options for you available. We found which would you like, you know, type deal. Uh, I mean, I can understand, like, if I pulled a... I'm just going to use one out there. Mac Jones had a contender's autograph, and I had to crack dice, and we'll just say it was a redemption. You know, with that there, I can understand. They might be like, hey, we don't have any Mac Jones, but we have three other Mac Jones from, you know, this product, or they have to go back X amount of years based on the redemption's not expired yet. They're like, hey, we can't give you Mac Jones, but, you know... We could give you three Aaron Rodgers autos or something like that there. It would make sense that way. But just by reading this, just so you guys know, this is what the actual redemption program uh, states onto there. That you can get two or more substitute cards to equal that monetary value. But the piece I would like to see from any company out there is that whenever you request an alternative card, maybe you list, you know, I know back in the day, they hey, give us some names and players you like. And I know that's what Upper Deck did offhand. And I know Panini did it years ago. I don't know how it is now. So they could try to give you something that you want back onto it. But instead of the hassle of all the phone calls and emails and stuff, hey, write it in there or give the person options on there to choose from. That way they feel like they're part of of the solution and getting something back in return they want. I mean, I got, there's people that were going to redeem all these, like, six-round draft picks out of contenders and stuff like that there. Get what you get with it, you know. <laughs> but when you got something it's you know, hits home to you or has some monetary value to it and the big stuff, you know, you might want something in return that you like instead of getting, you know, I, I don't know, three busts that are about to happen out there. And stuff like that. But I just thought I'd cover this real quick in a video today. I, I don't know what changed on this from what people are talking about. Because when I looked at their, uh, what they call it, Redemption Program of Panini America Terms and Conditions. It says as of 12 March 2019. So there's nothing that says 2022 on it. But it's always good to know this stuff. Because that way you're not blindsided that Penny just sends you three cards as a replacement and you had no say-so into it whatsoever. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys next video.